Lately we've been doing a ton of brush clearing and just like using the sex panther to get back into the woods and like tear stuff down. And uh, with that, I've been taking a chainsaw with me. You see I got a gas can in the back. It's just sort of sitting there. Sometimes it falls off. And so I thought, dude, how cool would it be to have a roof rack on the skid steer? I uh, contacted my buddies at Prinsu. And I was like, man, could you guys make something small, like a miniature Prinsu rack? And they were like, well, they weren't about to make a whole custom rack for me. But they did say that they have a rack that might just work. I think it's gonna work pretty good. I'm, I'm excited about it. Prinsu always makes good stuff. I got Prinsu racks on my, whew, on my Raptor. This is it, see? So it's just like this cool short little bar with big tie down spots. Right here? Hold, uh, right, hold right here. All right. My claw, this, my finger can get under. Cause it, cause it, the hole is bigger. That's right. Good. Charlie. Charlie! Great, it's much stuck. It's much stuck. I will get Charlie out. Okay. I'll get Let's see. Yeah, I think it's too wide. If it's too wide, we'll have to cut it down. Oh, it's way too wide. Okay, I think I need to cut this bar down and then I'll need to re-tap the screw holes. Hopefully, I can't quite tell. I'm looking down there. It looks like it looks like the holes go all the way down, but I can't quite tell. So we'll try it. Worst case, I ruin a, a bar. I gotta order another one. I just want to pop. this thing up here see how it looks Ooh, I actually like how the size came out oh that's so cool yeah first ever Prince skid steer that's and I'm having the hardest time getting this to work the hardware provided uh, isn't really designed to go down through a roof like that. It's really hard to get my hand up in there with the end of the headliner. I don't really want to take the whole headliner out because it's one of those things it's like, like once it comes out, I don't, I don't think we're going to be able to get it back in. So Tyler has this tool where you can put these little Zert type deals in there that like crimp in there and then you can just screw right from the top. I think that would be perfect and I'm really tempted to just wait until we have those available. It is a new day. I had no luck whatsoever trying to get that rack installed, but Tyler has this fancy tool. <laughs> he has this fancy tool that should allow us to put these little nut insert deals into the roof. I don't know what those are called. Do you know what those are called? Uh, yeah, it's a rib nut. It's a rib nut tool. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think of that. Yeah. You look great, by the way. Dude, this is awesome. I love this helmet. Good man, I'm glad you like it. It fits. It I wanted fits to see you. like clearance wise, but there's tons of clearance in the Razor. But the Razor's pretty good. The X3 might have a little bit less, but I feel like I can still fit sunglasses in. Ah, oh, yeah, which is important for me. Yeah, that I is like important, it. and it's light. It's so light. I, so those are street bike helmets, but they work so good for moto and stuff too. They're like, like they're much smaller than all the other helmets that I've. Yeah, it doesn't worn. look huge on your head. No, at all actually. Like, it almost, it's like a cross between a motorcycle helmet and like a skydiving helmet. Yeah. Like it's just tight to your face. Nice. That's why I liked it. So yeah, I got a pure white one. And so I'm giving Tyler that one. He can have it. That's for you. Yeah, I left those contacts in. I think I just need to get used to them. I'm wearing contacts. I'm not baked out of my mind. Just really uncomfortable. I was wearing sunglasses earlier just because it like helped with the light, I guess. There it is. There's the riv nut setting tool. And this is like what the rib nuts look like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Oh, so we'll yeah. pick the right size and nice. go from there. When that's happening. Yeah. All right, so I took my 
big ass drill bit. That's the scientific term for it. I don't know what size it is. It's big, big ass. B-A-D-D. And then this little zert. Yeah, I keep calling it a zert. That's not right. It's a riv nut. Riv nut. Goes right in there like that. Then we'll use this fancy tool. Yes. Mm hmm Now this isn't required. Which beverage is yours? Mine's on the right. Yeah. COVID. <laughs> COVID. So this isn't required to install a Prinsu rack on anything. This is just how we're doing it on this deal. So you don't need any special tools usually, depending on the make of your vehicle. If you happen to be installing it on a 2004 skid steer that you blacked out, then this is how you would do it. <laughs> I think that's the best way to install it. The best way. Well, I think this is gonna. This is like a really nice way to do it because you can take the rack on and off. You don't disrupt the headliner. It's gonna be nice. Oh yeah. Are you gonna try to do it from down there? No, you're gonna do it. I'll hold oh, the camera. Okay. This, I'll try. Is, this is your channel, man. I'll try, I'll try to. Do. Oh, there. You close it. I don't feel like anything happened there. Cause oh, you need to start with it open. Oh. Open. Then tighten that down. Okay. That's right. Remember how awkward it was trying to get some of the spots on the Can Am. Yep. Yeah, it was so super. Yeah, and then, now squeeze it. A squeeze, a squeeze. And then, open again. We'll see if you need to get it down further. So don't like, there we go. pull it through the top of the, the hood, but. With my big muscles. Oh, she's in there deep. It's probably good. <laughs> yeah. We're on the last rib nut. The final nut. Oh, it's way over here by me. Commence the final nutting. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> Nutted. <laughs> there it is. Ooh, dude, first ever. It looks great. That's got to be. It's got to be the first ever heavy machine, heavy equipment machine. With the Prince rack. With the Prince rack. <laughs> We're just gonna overland everything. We should put a rooftop tent on it go on a really slow camping trip. That'd be actually pretty cool. I actually thought it'd be pretty funny. Tent on a boat? Oh, oh, I meant on a skid steer. Oh, I thought you were talking about on a boat. The rooftop tent on the boat, that would be a, a, like a- I've never heard of that. I genuinely think that'd be a sweet idea. That would be a sweet idea. Uh, I've thought about putting an insert in the front bow, like so that you kind of like cover those seats and you have like a drawer underneath, mm -hmm. and then there's a rack and a rooftop tent, like a hard shell one that opens like lengthwise. Yeah. So you just go in. How sick cool. would that be? But no, the skid steer. We should take it to Tohoya, hit some trails in it. <laughs> Very slowly. <laughs> It'd be oh. kind of fun crawling that thing around though. Yeah, it would. I wonder what you could do with it. Especially with tracks on it. Yes. So, tracks. Tracks are what's next. We have this pile, big old pile of tracks here. Uh, I realized yesterday, this is the problem. I don't have a shop anymore. So I used to have some snips. I don't know where they are, buried or what, whatever. But luckily, Ha! Tyler came through. So we're gonna bust this thing open and try to install these tracks and throw them on the Sex Panther. And it's gonna look pretty cool, I think. I'm excited. Holy shit. Those are strong, heavy. They're way longer than I thought. We're gonna have to take some so are the, is this one that you can swap out the cross members with like or no these are all the same so i've seen some where they have like the cross members you can swap out with rubber ones or oh yeah so they make a um oh it looks like maybe you can bolt something on there. so they make a pad that goes over this yeah. you can bolt through here or weld on to these welding pads oh sweet oh what? sick okay so i don't need a ratchet strap this pulls them together that's the tensioning tool Another reason why this company was way better to go with, because these tools are not cheap and they make it way easier. You just put this bar in there and just like that, it makes that Sweet. noise. Sick! This I'm always 
afraid, this thing's gonna be like, and I'll just be like, it would, it would crush everything. Can you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> 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 toast. <laughs> I didn't read the instructions. No, no, no. Who needs instructions? Dang! Spare pieces of track. Oh, that is a gap. So this mamma jamma for slammas. Like that. Yeah, oh yeah. You can get some out. That's good All over. This looks this is way better than a ratchet strap. You might want to look at the directions before we do that. Directions? Never mind. How dare you! I have insulted our manhood. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, Tyler! So close and it's raining! Perspiration! Perspiration on my skin! Moisture! <laughs> Aren't you a tall glass of water? <laughs> and oh, how I just love moisture! Oh god, it's raining buckets! That's it. Those are big drops. Yeah. It's still warm though, it's kinda cool. Yeah. It's like Colorado or Oklahoma. We're in, baby! What? It says it's directional. That direction? The way we have it. Hopefully. It says the OTT Magnum is directional. When the track is mounted on the machine, the sick, thick, this thick, solid bar should point to the front of the machine when looking at the top of the track. <laughs> Sorry. All I heard was magnum and thick bar. Is it recording now? Yes. Okay, there's gonna be a car. Three, two, one. Is that time perfectly? That was perfect. Okay. Well, I mean, it was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> there she is, tracks and all. Does it not look like the coolest skid steer you've ever seen? It looks pretty I good. think we set out to make a pretty badass skid steer and this is it. It's got a Princey roof rack, it's got bear claw tracks. It's got a tooth bar now. It's a beast. It, it's like a little, it's like a jungle cat. I'm extremely excited about it, and uh, I think it's gonna do a ton of work for us. So I'm gonna hop in it, drive it back and forth, see how these things fit. They might explode. Hopefully they settle in. Yeah, I'm hoping they settle in. They're supposed to stretch out. Right now they're extremely tight, so if they stretched a little bit, that'd probably be good. Um, it's raining again. It is. I didn't think we were supposed to have rain after like 11. I know. It's still super tight. This side is much looser. You know, I was expecting, I saw the paint coming off. I was expect, expecting big gouges, but they're not. It's just kind of no, the it's paint. Just sliding along. 
Yeah, yeah this, this is how it's supposed to look here. On this side, no give. A little flop in there is good. Which is funny, because this is the side that had the least clearance. Yeah. That's how they're supposed to look though, so I'm not worried about that. And that one over there will probably stretch out too. It's, you know, it's all the little bit of distance in between. It's taking up little gaps too on the, on the threads. Yeah. yeah. Sick. It's good. I want to get it out there and start digging, but it's, the weather sucks. It'd be kind of fun to get a demonstration of its mud bogging it abilities. Be, you're going to tear the hell out of the field right now. Or of anything you drive on. Raw! Yeah. slower and then you um do gradual turns oh yeah dude dude not bad at all no yeah it floated pretty nice it's yeah it did bye tyler make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see the sex panther in action i can't wait to get those tracks out in that field it's still really really wet but with the tracks i think that we're gonna manage to do the irrigation stuff that we need to do this year even though it's getting a little late in the year I think we'll be able to pull it off. Every single month we have a merch drop from the 1st to the 10th. This month is this super comfortable hoodie. It's very stylish and it's a little subtle because all you can see I have is just the MP logo there. And uh, But seriously, this is one of the most comfortable hoodies I own. We have been trying to step it up a notch, make products that are going to last, that you're going to want to wear, that are super, super comfortable. And that's why we're only offering one item every month. And for it's only for a limited time too. So you only have from the 1st to the 10th to buy it. And uh, so you got to jump on there. The first month we offered this hat. Last month it was a Don't Forget to Live shirt that was super, super popular. And this month it's this really, really cool kind of off-white oatmeal colored hoodie and it's crazy comfortable. You can also hit that thumbs up button, which helps a ton. It lets YouTube know that they should be promoting this video. It's one of the only ways that new people are gonna discover this channel. So I'd really appreciate that. If you wanna be a huge trooper, you can hit the share button and you can go post my videos on Facebook or wherever you do your social media bidding. I would really appreciate that. That would be so huge. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And thank you so much. We'll have lots of cool videos coming up next. So roll the up next outro.